Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are doing almost an entire house cleaning. I had so much to get done and my husband had family in town so I wanted to make sure that the house was picked up and the bathrooms were clean for when they arrived. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is make sure that everything smells good. You know I love my scents, so I had to switch out my new um, Bath & Body Works scent with the, um, I think it's called the Coconut Cotton Blend. It's really nice. It smells refreshing and clean and a little bit tropical, which I love. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what, what's going on Don't waste your time being all alone This is our upstairs guest bathroom My son does shower in this bathroom So you will not see me clean the inside of the shower Because that is his job So right after I was done uh, cleaning this bathroom I sent him in to go ahead and get the inside cleaned and I just cleaned the outside glass and the counter and the sink. I also moved a little decoration I had on the floor, a lantern with some greenery in it. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. If you watched my last video, then you know I do not have makeup on and I have an injury on my face. I went over my injury and how that crazy, ridiculous story happened in my last video. I will link it below if you want to hear about that, but I apologize for how I look, but this is real life and I just have to wait until it heals. Once again, I just want to thank all of you for being here, for watching, for supporting me. It has been a four month journey so far when I started my YouTube channel and I am really enjoying it. I am really enjoying connecting with you guys and sharing just my day with you, my cleaning routines, and I hope that you guys are liking it so far. If you are new here, please consider subscribing so that you can see all of my future videos. I do cleaning, cooking, organizing, lots of decorating, and of course some crafts and baking as well. So now I'm just finishing up in the bathroom and I feel like I do the basics in here, toilet, sink, counter, all those things, mirror, but I noticed that there were some marks and dirt on the back of my door, some dust as well, and then I just kind of went from there and looked down on the floor and noticed that the trim was really dusty and needed a good wiping, so I just went ahead and did that all right now. Not that I usually do this in part of my cleaning routine for the bathroom, but it definitely needed to be done. The kitchen was not bad at all in today's video and that is because I am filming this on a weekend and so my husband was home and able to help me maintain it for the morning and then he took my daughter out so I was actually here with just my son getting some things done this morning. You can see the beloved pink box on the counter. Yes, we did get crumble cookie this week. We do not get it every week, but it is so dang good. If you've had crumble cookie, what is your favorite flavor? Mine is definitely the Twix. The day that I filmed this was actually the day before Mother's Day, and so we ended up treating ourselves to some crumble cookie. And then of course my husband came home right after this video was done with some nothing bunt cake. So I was spoiled with sweets, and I was excited about it because I have been watching my nutrition and trying to stay away from sugar for the last six weeks. So. On Mother's Day and Mother's Day weekend, I think it was safe to say I could have some sugar. 
I hope that you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Comment down below on what you guys did for your Mother's Day. We kind of did our regular routine on a Sunday morning and went grocery shopping and did some cleaning and then I ended up going over to a friend's house with the kids for a lunch which was really fun and then I just came home and got in pajamas and hung out with the kiddos for the rest of the day. I say this every time I show this in a video, but the window behind my sink and the window that leads out onto our back deck are two of the most thankless chores that I do because they get messed up super quick. Our dog can actually jump up and see into this window because she's so tall, so we get muddy paw prints on the outside very often. Now I'm going to tackle all things dog hair and get this couch cover cleaned off, put a fresh one on, vacuum, clean up toys, wipe everything down, just make sure that it's nice for when company is here and that there's not floofs of dog fur rolling all over my floor. You see that I am cleaning this window out here and this ledge and that is because when my dogs do lay on the couch their nose goes up there and it just gets so dirty and hairy that when I change the couch cushions I normally wipe everything down and push the couch out to make sure I'm vacuuming underneath of it to get all of the dirt and hair gone. Still so happy that I decided to move Penny's little kitchen over here. It just fits so nicely. It looks nice and the toy mess does not look as much over by the window anymore. I am definitely at the point where I need to sort the toys again because she has brought up so many from downstairs that it's just getting overflowing again, but we'll save that for another day. I've been thinking for a while. I have a few little signs, decorations, whatever you want to call them, hanging up that need to be replaced. They're just really old. They don't really match anymore and they kind of just don't fit my theme. So I think this week I'm going to go shopping and try to find something to go. And one of the signs is behind this chair and then one is in the entry. And then I just noticed in the bathroom my big flower with crystals on it. One of them has fallen out, so I will have to replace that too, which I am a little bit sad about. I'm telling you these couch covers are amazing. We hardly ever have it off so our couch stays really clean and new but um, they're just such a pain. It's like a, an entire workout trying to get it on, trying to make sure it's on correctly and uh, when you take it off and it's full of hair the hair goes flying everywhere and so I kind of am over it when I was putting this on. I just was thinking to myself, oh, I love my dogs, but man, I'm so over this. And then you will see in the next clip, I just finished cleaning the living room, vacuuming, getting a new couch cover on, and it started to rain. So guess who got to come inside and lay on a very clean couch? Speed away from the holy mind, as where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep a linger, linger on. On repeat like it will be my favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on. But you got me good. You got me good. 
Okay, we are moving on to my pantry. I have this weird frosted glass, which I really love, but it does leave some streaks and marks, but even though it looks like it's not gonna come off, it, it does. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease and some patience to let it dry. But I wanted to clean the inside of my pantry. I didn't wanna do anything major, but it definitely needed some reorganizing. Things were getting put back incorrectly and things were just overflowing. There was leftover Easter candy. This melon needed to be cut up. There was just a lot of things that needed to be gone through. So I went ahead and did that really quick and I'm glad I did because now I feel so much better. I forgot how you look like in rain. I swear I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on I had an extra container that my husband had been using for his pistachios, but he is out of them. So I decided to wash it and refill it with a box of cookies that we had open so that they don't go bad and I don't have to put them in a Ziploc. Keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end. As my head of humans back between the jars and bottle jug, just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving. taking out these bananas because I am going to be making some banana bread brownies for the Mother's Day event the following day after I filmed this and I decided not to film the baking and put it in this video until I try the recipe. If you've watched my channel before, I have messed up a few recipes so I feel like I might need to do a trial run before I start recording them and sharing them with you guys. But they turned out perfect and they were delicious. I should have um, filmed that, but my husband didn't get to have any, so I am going to be making them again in a few weeks and I will have him take them to work because I cannot have them laying around or they will get devoured. So stay tuned for that coming up in a future video very soon. As you can see, I'm just moving a few things around, organizing the Easter candy so it has a spot, and I kept finding suckers on the top counter that I think I tried to hide at one point from my daughter so she wasn't constantly wanting to have one, and they just got a little stuffed away. Okay, now we're gonna move on into my bedroom. My daughter loves to play in here, so there's constantly toys, and I will tell you, I ended up taking all of them out of my room. Normally we leave something in here for when she comes in, but today I just decided I don't want any toys in my room right now. And actually the other sad thing is we have a bucket in here that was full of her diapers and wipes and lotions. And I ended up taking it out because she's potty trained now and I just have had it sitting there not knowing why I haven't taken it out. but. I take it out and put it away and then um, also I forgot to mention in the pantry I had her diaper bag stored in there so we could just grab it on our way to the car filling it with snacks and I took that out because she doesn't wear diapers so we don't need to bring it with us anymore. She has quite a few little backpacks that she loves to carry so if we need snacks when we go somewhere I just put her snacks in there. Quick little vacuum session in here and then I am going to clean off my nightstand and dressers and wipe them down and kind of move a few things around. I have been looking at new bedding, this bedspread we've had for four years. I really like it, it's just getting worn down and it's honestly not warm enough. So I want to get something a little bit better and then just keep this blanket as an extra blanket but I don't want to spend a fortune, so I am taking requests. If anybody knows of a good place to get a bedspread, comment down below. 
My uh, friend told me she got some good things from Walmart and Amazon, so I've been looking online at those, but I just can't decide on a color. We always seem to go towards grays, and I would love to get a white one, but there is just no chance that my husband will go for that. He would probably laugh at me that that is not a smart or wise decision, but we are going to be doing an accent wall behind our bed putting up some decorative wood and painting it a little bit darker so I think a lighter color would look nice but I have no idea I might need to wait until we're able to do that wall just to see if it looks good and like they match together I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful The last thing I am tackling today is just a load of my daughter's laundry. Wanted to fold that and get it put away. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please hit the big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. All the time.